This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hey what's up sports to the bone family Welcome back to another video man It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Kingston, Jamaica And I am getting all geared up, getting myself ready To watch West Indies and England do battle in the 5th and final T20 game of the series Yes man, it promises to be an interesting one Not sure who will end up um, on top But at the end of the day, I am hoping that some amount of excitement And some competitive cricket will be played Will, will play out there Right, so I'm going to be zooming in On uh, something that our batting coach had to say And I'm also going to probably share my final 11 My 11 that I would use going into this game Now, let me just quickly go through what the batting coach had to say no, on Friday, he was saying that, um, you know, they are focused on the Caribbean side's unfield success in the series, pointing to the fact that West Indies had challenged strongly in all three matches to date. Yeah? And, I mean, we beat, every of you as our subscribers, we beat the West Indies team, but, you know, and I know some persons are going to say they don't. I know people always say they don't believe in this ranking thing. But it's a reason why they are ranked at one and we are down the, down the picking order. But it just goes to show that we have the quality cricketers. We just need the consistency. Right? So when they hear we knock them, say they're not, they're not performing well. It's not because they are going up against world class that are extremely better than them. And they just can't match up to them. We have good cricketers. They are just not consistent. Anyways, let me, let, me, let me read what the co batting coach had to say. He's quoted as saying, We can reflect only on the performance for this series. And the fact uh, remains, if you look at three games, we have been in the battle throughout. Right? And this interview was done before um, the, fact that the fourth game. So he's saying that in all three games thus far, you know, they, they are... They, ha they were actually there and there about in with a shout. Very competitive. Now, according to the coach, all the players out there, they are battling well, they are doing well. It's just for them to continue to push on and the results will come. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, uh, man letting us know that here what? The team is doing well and we need to focus on what is happening in this series. Right? Focus on what is happening in this series to see where the team is at. But at the end of the day, later on this evening, we will, we will definitely see where they are at. A uh, lot of talking going on. The coach um, Phil Simmons, you know, was saying that poor and is working and 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 you know really understanding the number three role. As I don't remember who it was, but somebody posted on one of the videos saying that we will know how much how much he's learning the role after the India tour. But <laughs> but are you guys not easy you know? But yeah, my viewers and subscribers, West Indies, you know, we are definitely um, going to be looking to push. Uh, in this fifth and final game to see if we can secure the series you know it would be nice it's not the it's not the uh, the strongest team that we would have wanted a couple of players are out you know a couple of players are out for i'm just saying that we have a couple of players out in case england you know our people gonna say well the english the, the they don't have all of their, their first choice um, players because of what, whatever reason. We don't have all of our first choice players either. Um, so, you know, uh, whoever win the series, it, you know, you, we have to give them kudos. So, I uh, don't remember if I said it, my viewers and subscribers, but I hope you are seeing this video before the game. We're going to be having a watch along. You know, hopefully we can, um, we can do the watch along from the start until the finish. If you are not able to go all the way, then you know it is. Anyways, I, as I said at the beginning of the video, I am going to go through and give you guys my final uh, my 11 that I would use for this game. Alright, let me, let me see now. So just a quick reminder of the persons that we have in the squad. So for the T20 squad, right, that we play now, we have Karen Pollard, Nicholas Puran, Fabian Allen, we have Darren Bravo, we have Raston Chase, we have Sheldon Cottrell, we have Dominic Drakes, we have Hope, we have Akil Hussein, we have Jason Holder, we have Brandon King, Kyle Myers, we have uh, Kyle Myers, as I said, Ravman Powell, Romario Shepard, uh, Odin Smith, and Hayden Walsh Jr. Now, the other guys that we will not, we'll not be able to draw from, 
would be Jaden Seals, Alzari Joseph, and Devon Thomas. So those are the guys that we will that are there um, in the reserves that we will probably not be able to to, to draw for. So if we are talking about um, this eleven now, let me see. They brought in Kyle Myers. He played well, so I'm I'm gonna stick with Kyle Myers and uh, Brandon King at the top. So those two guys starting off for me. Um, Kyle Myers, Brandon King. At three, we're gonna work with the um, Nicholas Puran at three, right? At number four, we're still gonna try with. Uh, well, we noticed that they're batting Bravo down. We don't know. It, it depends. At number four, we're gonna work with Ravman Powell, right? So Ravman Powell will be at four, and this is the this is the fifth game now. So I don't think I'm going to use Bravo in this one, right? So Ravman Powell at four. At five, we will have um, Kyron Pollard. At six, we're gonna have Jason Holder. Right? At seven, we are going to have um, Romario Shepard. Eight, we are going to probably have, uh, let me see now, who I can put at eight, eight, eight. We're going to bring in back. Um, I'm going to bring in back uh, Odin Smith. That is for me. I, I will bring him back in. Right? He will help us probably with the ball. And um, Bravo has had a, 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 a very lean series. So I will probably give Odin the, 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 the go in the final game. This is my 11, you know, guys. This is not me predicting the West Indies 11 or saying this is what needs to happen. So you can name your 11 in the comment section. This is the 11 that I would use. Odin Smith there. At nine, in all, I, I, I probably going to give um, Dominic Drakes another go. I mean, he wasn't um, very, very effective, but he was a bit unlucky, so I probably could give him another chance. So he would probably go um, there. Nine at ten, we at ten we have Akil Hussein, and eleven we have Sheldon Cottrell. So those are the guys that I am thinking that I would use in my team. You hear the amount of time I am saying I, I, right? This is my level, my viewers are subscribers, so I don't want a man believe I am fighting anybody. You know, um, I don't close off my comment section, so you can, you can, you can um, list your own that you would use based on your opinion. So those are the guys that I would use now. And as usual, we're expecting a good um, opening start. You know, Brandon King and Kyle Myers, they showed some amount of compatibility yesterday in the, in the, in the fourth game. So it would be nice to have them going off again and getting some runs for us. Nico, Nicky P, Nicholas Puran, he will come in. He's learning the number um, three role and he's doing well at it um, according to Coach Phil Simon. So he will definitely need to come in in this game and, and, and lay the thing down, play a match winning innings for us. Similarly to how he got that 70 yard in the third game when Pollard got 100, right? Um, not Pollard, when Powell got 100. So he will be there. Uh, as I said, I, 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 I have actually let, left out um, Bravo. I don't know if that means we're going to be one man short, one batter, one specialist batsman short. You understand? But Bravo is not really making much. So I think I would probably give Odin another crack at it. In all honesty, I would probably give him another crack. He didn't do too bad against Ireland. He came in in the, in the England series. He wasn't given much opportunity with the bat. Um, with the ball, with the bat, his strike rate is still up there even though he did not hang around for too long. So probably I would give him another crack at it. Fabian Allen is another one that is there. You know, I guess they are trying to, they are, well, he hasn't clicked thus far with the bat and they are not really bowling him. So maybe they won't, they, they, they're not going to use him. Another option, I give my 11 already now guys, I'm just playing around with some names. Another option, probably we see Hayden Walsh Jr. is there, so I don't know. You understand? So um, these guys will definitely have to, have to, have to put their hand up and, and, and do some work. Captain Kyron Pollard, he ha where the ball is concerned, we have had a lot from him where the ball, bowling is concerned. He has bowled a couple of overs cheaply and you know he has taken wickets cheaply. So we are looking for Kyron Pollard to continue his good work with the ball. But where the bat is concerned, you will need to fire my viewers and subscribers. I, I might get some knock for this, but there is no way in a T20 game you are going to be batting at number 5 or 6 and you are not scoring runs. You're definitely, you need to be scoring runs, right? 
is it is a must it goes without saying it is a must so the final game this would be a crucial game for him to see all right step up and say well i am the captain i hear people in the media talking from the other day let me step up and take things by the scruff of the neck and and drag my team over to a series victory you know it would be a good redemption having lost to ireland having lost that series to ireland it would be a good redemption to see all right the team is inconsistent but we have the capability of doing well so yeah my viewers and subscribers that is basically the couple of things that i have to say going into this game so yeah that is pretty much it for this one my viewers and subscribers a little later on from now west indies do battle we will definitely be doing a watch along so just skip on over and let us enjoy the cricket sports to the bone i'm out big up on yourself